The first thing I'm going to do to make a Goomba is block out its head. Before doing anything, I'm going to turn on X and Y symmetry. This will help me a lot. Then I'm just going to push the bottom up to start making that shape. It is basically a semisphere. Then out of that semisphere, we're going to pull from the top to start making sort of a triangle cone shape. Make sure it is wide enough. And then these sides need to go a bit of inwards. Now, if your mesh is uh, distorted, you just uh, remesh it with Control R. Uh, with R, just make it so make it so that it is not that high of polygon count. And then just keep moving everything, resizing the brush where needed. Keep the bottom corners, the mouse sex be below the center part to make that uh, arch and keep that arch on the sides. Now, since this is a 3D model, you need to do this on all perspectives. So rotate your mesh constantly. And then after a bit of sculpting what you see, you will get something like this. After that, you can go into object mode, create a new sphere. This will be our body. And body is almost like a ball, just need a bit of tweaking. And what I like to do is to see what proportions exist within my character and in this case his body is uh, one half of his head meaning two of his bodies would make his one head that is, that is a nice proportion i saw when looking at the goomba then with his feet i'm going to again create a sphere but move it in edit mode so that the center the origin remains in the center and we're going to turn on the mirror modifier. Now, since the origin is in the center, it's going to work perfectly. Go back to sculpt mode and basically start making some beams. To help you with making the fit, you can use whatever this key is called, and then you will isolate the fit so the head is not going to bother you that much. Now, you can go from the top view and the bottom view to see what shape are you getting you need to as i said get that bean shape and when you are ready you can go to bottom view with control 7 on the numpad and use shift or flatten brush so you can get the uh, flat part of the feet make sure that ridge that connects that is between the old part and the flat is not sharp like a address table so you just shift it if needed. If something leaks out on the other side, use inflate brush to correct the shape of the feet. And that is the best way. And then again, with some tweaking, we can go back to the head. And now we're going to make a bigger resolution. We're going to remesh with a lot more polygons. After that, we're going to smooth out everything. And then I'm going to mark where my mouth would be with draw sharp brush and I'm going to use inflate brush to get that pinch feeling on the lips that Goomba has. Uh, this is done because, because we don't want to have this big of a poly count. With that said, this needs to be done last because we're going to remesh a couple of more times and whenever you remesh, this detail is going to get lost. Keep that in your mind when, when we are done with the modeling. To make the teeth, we are going to just use the same method of mirroring as we did for the feet. And then we are just going to simply extrude like we did for the top of the head with the move brush. And don't overcomplicate this like I did. Just pull out the shape, make sure it's going up perpendicular at 90 degrees with the floor, not at the side. That is the main thing I can tell you. There is no much else to it. Just use inflate brush if the uh, if sides are flat, if it's too small, and rely on your move brush to get the shape that you need. To make the eyes, I'm simply going to mask out the shape I want. I'm going. I spent a lot of time on this step because I wanted to get the exact shape. So don't get ashamed if you needed also a lot of time to do this. The only thing I can help you with is to keep a bit more space between the eyes. That will be important later. And after you're finished with masking the shape of the eyes, 
invert the mask with Control I, and then go to Move Brush at bottom left side of the UI, and in Side View by pressing Three or One, depending on what you chose in the beginning, you can simply move everything by left clicking, move everything inwards, and follow the same exact process for the pupil. To keep the edges nice, you just tap smooth to not go overboard, not completely move the boundary between eyes and the body and pupil and the eye. You can go high poly to make it easier, but some people don't want 3 million po polygons for a Goomba, so choose wisely. Now for the finishing details, just choose clay builder brush and start making a simple eyebrow bridge. The thing I'm going to say you here is to keep the part that's going towards the top of the head, the forehead, very smooth and other three parts very sharp to get that 3D look. To make the eyebrows, simply add a plane, add exact same mirror system we did for the feet and the teeth and uh, make everything into one vertex. And from that vertex, start blocking out the main flow of the eyebrow, then select everything, extrude once upwards, and adjust to get the spots where the eyebrow is thicker and where it's thinner. And once again, extrude to get the three-dimensionality. After that, subdivide it two times or choose subdivision level two to make it much smoother. And with a bit of proportional editing, bit of move brush and bit of inflate brush, you can get the exact shape that you want for the eyebrow. And after that, you can do the inflate trick we did for the mouth, since this is the end of the Goomba processing, and smooth out the body and the feet. After all of this, you should end up with a nice Goomba.